All right, this is a big Alpine fifth wheel we got in here. Look at the amount of caulking they slobbered on here. Keep putting more on, more on. The only ones that keep putting more on is a moron. Something wrong with that system. But we're going to see what's causing all this. It doesn't feel like it's rotted, but we're going to check that out. But that is way too high. That's just really a water trap now. So look how close this air unit is down to the floor here. See, to the roof deck. That's what I was saying. You get all these leaves, get all that debris in there. You won't be able to drain right. There's a whole bunch of junk up underneath there. So somebody tried to put this strike a cock in there to kind of divert the water. Kind of a smart idea. I mean, we do it for most. The heavy water obviously going to go over that. Then right here, you can see how that presses in. There's a staple right there. Okay. They don't put any protection on here or very little, maybe tape. Get all this slobbered over on all of these. Cracked unit. That's a vent. It's useless. It's absolutely useless. The vent it needs to have a draw from the lower end. So there's no way it's gonna it's gonna draw from the bottom side and it, it'll pull up. But there's no draw down here. Much like on your own house, you may see a ridge vent and then you'll have a soffit vent. If you don't have the soffit vent, the ridge vent won't work. So you can't just put a vent in a hole in there and say it's gonna vent. Heat will rise, but it needs to have a, a draw source. So, and uh, same thing with this vent right here. You see how much booger we got on it. And let's see what else we got here. There's some sticks up there. More plumbing. You can see how they keep slobbering it all on there. And again, that's just what the RV industry does. I, I gotta say, RV industry definitely has a um, heck of a marketing plan. They really do. They have marketed this crappy die core to be the holy grail of leak stopping in the RV business and it isn't worth two bucks. It really isn't. It is the cheapest, the lowest budget caulking on the market. It, it literally, literally, it's just that bad. So don't use, don't use die core. It's just junk. Yeah, but they sell it for like 12 bucks a tube. You got another breach right here. That's another staple coming through. So, but anyhow, that's what we're going to do. Tear this roof off. Just giving you kind of an overview. So if you have one of these crank up antennas, some of the problems we have on these crank up antennas is right there. Right here. So you'll get water in here, but what happens is water will get down this it won't run down here and get in this boot and it'll come down through this right here so what you want to do is then it'll go down right there and that's how it goes right into the coach so really you want to seal this if you were to do this if you're noticing leaks around there put some caulking up inside here up inside the boot and then push it down and you want to make sure that caulking kind of oozes around this wire that'll help keep the water out of there I mean I'm not a fan of these crank ups anyways this one will be coming off we've got a whole bunch of them stacked over there so but uh, that's uh that's what we're working on you get the same issues up in the front here in this front turn bar right there and then again you can see a lot of this breaching right here right on this this is another staple about to come through see and like I said, they don't they don't put very much on there. Let me see if I can reach my pocket knife. Who's gonna come off anyways? Alright. Let's see how much protection they've got. All they got is that tape. Okay. And even with that tape on there. Even with the tape on there, that staple will still see it. Uh, see if I get you a better clip of that. My fat fingers in the way. But there it is. That staple is right there. 
Actually, you probably just wiggle it right out. Right here. There's a staple. Ta da! That's it right there. But that's all they put on there is that tape. You can see another one right here. So there's this one. There's the next one. And I can't feel any down here. I don't know how many they got. They probably only have a few. So you can see another one right here. So that's going to cause a problem for sure. So, well, anyhow, this is our Alpine. This is us getting started on it. Just giving you the first clip. And then uh, again, we'll do the same thing. It's, it's much like the layout of this one over here. We're just getting that one together. That's a big country. So then we're working on this Class C over here. Man, is that a mess. That is just crazy. So, and we'll show you that too. That's Sunseeker if you're looking at the videos. That's the Sunseeker. That one over there is a big country. So, all right, we'll be back. All right, this is our Alpine that we're working on. We got the roof system up. Now, what we were doing, the reason why we got this big panel up here, the roof panel, is because they were complaining about leaks. I want to make sure all this insulation was good. So, it's, it's real fluffy and dry. There's nothing wrong with that. So, we're just going to set it back down. And then we're going to start prepping for roof. So that's it. Everything else seems just fine. So, get around this side here. So the rest of it looks pretty well. Here's what we got. So, we'll probably end up going back and refastening some of these in here. Well, on this deck, they look like they got, on this one, particular one, they got quite a few fasteners in here, so that's good. Some of the other ones, they didn't have so many, but we'll double check them. If they need more, I want to make sure they just didn't fasten it here, and now we may need to get it fastened somewhere else, like in the body on the trusses. Sometimes they'll skip along on those, so we may have to go back and refasten some of them down. And this is why, you see the difference in here? That's why we put those protective strips on there, so it looks nice and clean. They had this little piece put in here, from here to here, that little joint. So, but uh, that's that's about it so far. So we're gonna get going on the rest of it and get it all prepped up. All right, this is our Alpine. We got all these boards all laid up here. What we found, one of the things that customers was complaining about was the. See, he thought the ductwork had broke. So what we're gonna do is we're making these sleeves right here. How they go right over it. We're gonna glue them all into place, oh, yeah. and it's gonna hold it all tight. That's that why works. we lifted every bit of this up. So we're gonna we'll glue. Also, the other thing we did, see, which go over fun. this way. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. You can see over here. They got this foil on here for the insulation, and they fasten the the decking down. But this one, you can see, they never even fastened this one down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this anyway, so we're gonna get it to drop down. And what that'll do is it'll expose the trusses like that. And then we can get some glue on there. We're going to glue all this back together the way it should be. To get it all glued down. So, and obviously you get the other side as well. But that's what we're working on right now. So we're taking all of this up just so we can check. See yeah, how that ductwork right there is all caved in? Looks like it's separating. That's what we're trying to fix for him. And this obviously is the best time to do it. He had a suspicion because he just said it just seemed like he wasn't getting the airflow. So, I said, uh, that's what we're working on. And again, we'll get all this insulation back in here and get it all nice. And that's a vent right here. There's a vent that insulation goes there. And that's, uh, so we'll be back with more. We're going to do it. That's what we got now. So we got the piece in. And now we're just putting tape on there. They didn't tape these. We'll get some more on there. More on, more on. Put more on, more on. Ryan. <laughs> Our big Alpine. We're putting on a new roof deck. Putting all this adhesive down, and we're shooting her all down. The other thing we did was we fixed all the ductwork. We showed you that. So we cut all this because we need to glue to this. We need to glue to the truss. So that's why we cut all this back here because you can't just put this on there. It's not going to stick to the frame. Right. So we're tucking that back in there, and then uh, now we're just getting the decking on. That's what we're doing here, sewing it up with some staples. So we should be good. Hey, don't need to go around this. There's a perimeter around it. Yep. Down the center of mm -hmm. it. Yeah, you got it. So that's what we're working on. Okay. So now we just took out this back piece over here, and that's what we're gonna get replaced. 
So we got everything else all decked. Everything else. That's what we got. We're putting on the last piece. May have to do a little sanding or something right in here. Possibly to kind of get that down a little bit. But you can see all the glue we used. It's all in there. We stabled the heck out of it. So it's a down there. Then once we get the roof on, what we'll do is uh, get your curves put in and so forth, and we'll get all that. So, she's coming around. Right. Right. Look at our, our alpine. We're sanding down those joints to make sure they seat right. That's what we're doing up here. We just want to make sure everything seats right, and then we're just scraping off whatever we can with that scraper there. So that's us so far. Okay, these are our hey. big alpine. So we've already got this side glued. What we're doing now is getting the glue down there. We're uh, mopping her down. Obviously, we'll get glue on the sheet as well. Then we roll it over, roll it down. We're just showing you we're getting all this glue down there. See all the protective strips we got in there. So that's where every this is this is where the rear fascia comes around. And then all those other ones, that's the decking. So that's what we got so far. We're rolling it out. Look at the just the whole technique of the rollout. We slop it on like that, and then he thins it out. Slops it on, then thins it out. Slop it, thin it. Slop it, thin it. That's the technique we use here. But we're gonna get good coverage on here. That's for sure. We take the time to get all that glue on there. And you need it on both sides. So that's why he said he'll get the other side here. And then we'll roll her down. It's the only way it's going to work. If you roll down one side and you do the other, it wouldn't stick. Alright, so we got that glued down. We rolled it. All we did is roll it over. And now what we're doing is just rolling it down with that big heavy roller. Alpine! Alright, these are Alpine. We got the roof all glued down. And now what we're doing is putting turn bar on it. So we are working with that. You can see all our protective strips in here. They're all in there, you can faintly see them. We got them going all the way across. We redeck this one as well. And I say as well because of that one over there we redecked. So now what we did, put the turn bar on, you can see we've got our glue up in here. It's an adhesive caulk is what we use. So it's actually pulling. And if you look real close at that screw, the way we put that in there, see that little glue around there, the little white ring? That is the caulking adhesive that we use. Well, obviously all that stuff will be all cleaned up. But uh, that's it, so we'll get our first strike on there. And then you can faintly see, and this is the important part. See that little yellow jaundice? That's primer. We need to have the primer on there. So that's what we're doing right now, is just getting all this balanced and set because it kind of goes up and then goes down, and that's what they're doing down there, just getting it all set. And you gotta get the, we try to get the shoulder as tight as we can to pull in there. This is a little different membrane than rubber, for sure. It's a lot stronger, it's a lot more rigid. So sometimes we gotta encourage it to do more. But uh, this is a commercial grade roof membrane. It's a 60 mil GAF brand Evagard. And it's a structured membrane. What a structured membrane is, see if I can show you on here. If you see them little squares in there, it looks like a little screen. See them? That little screen, that's your structure. You can see this little whisker right there. See that little whisker at the end? That little whisker, that's part of the mesh. That's where you get your strength from impacts from like hail and tree branches and things like that. So it makes it a strong membrane. So this is, a, like I said, a 60 mil. Is what it is this carries a 20 year warranty so all you have to do is bring the coach back to us we do all your inspections all the inspections because we'll, we have to get our curbs we'll be putting those in here shortly when we get the curbs those will all be heat welded so you're not going to have all that caulking slobbered all around the roof it doesn't we don't do that now we will be putting the vent on top of those curbs and you'll have caulking on there but there's also a piece of counter flash and i'll go over all that when we get all those mounted but that counter flash prevents the water from running up 
it'll have to just scoot around there's just no way it can get around it so but uh, once we get all that I'll, like I said I'll show you how, how we're gonna go about all that and the same with the plumbing I got special boots I make for those everything's all fabricated here doesn't matter what it is uh, we did a, a big cyclone if you watch that video we uh, custom built a curb for the massive uh, satellite dish he had one of those satellite dishes that come up and went just spun around like this but we made it look just like the footprint of that so it looks nice and clean and professional so, you know see again see how we got that ring in there that's what you want every one of them that's how we do them want it done right then it's nice and sealed so now you know that screw sealed that's what's good about it you know everything's sealed so the butyl, we don't use butyl. Butyl is just, uh, it always oozes out, always seems to ooze. And as it does, it'll probably, you know, it's going to have to push something. And we just don't like it. It makes a mess of the shop, and it's just, it really is, it's just something we, we stop using it. Uh, we got enough mess going on here when you turn these apart. So then obviously we'll get our logo on the back too, so I'll show you all that. But uh, that's about where we are right now. We'll, we'll be back with more. Our Alpine is done. Okie dokie. We got some sealed up around the ladder. We also did the back of the lights. We do all that. All those lights there. You can see we got the stands right here. Kind of balance out the ACs. Got our boots or our ladder right here. And we've got two strikes of caulking that run all the way down here. So there's caulking behind this turn bar. It's an adhesive, structural adhesive caulk that we use. So it actually glues it in there. Then obviously, you put the screws in. And then it oozes out on the top, and we strike it down. Once that cures out, we put another strike. Once that cures out, we put another strike. So what you're looking at right there, that's the second strike. Or the third strike, however you want to look at it. So then we've got our curbs right here. Elevate this air conditioner. And we got a piece of flash in the front. And that's so when the water comes down this way, I don't want it to try to trickle back up on the side of the inside there to get at the foam or anything on that curb. And then you've got three inches on that apron right there. That apron, that's three inches that goes around this way. We heat weld all the way from there out. It's not just on this edge. It's the whole thing is. It's a heck of a water drop if it's going to get in there, that's for sure. So then we've got our brand on here. RVRoofInstall.com January of 19 that's when it was installed so every time this camper comes back this coach comes back we can take a look at it and see how it's functioning make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do so I don't know if you can faintly see these I see if I can I'm looking through the screen on this camera to see but you could should be able to see a like an impression right there about yay wide those are the protective strips we put where all the panels come together all the roof decking comes together and we redeck this roof Anyways, here's another one right here. There's another one right here. So Then you can see we got our plumbing boots in here. Same thing. Those are all heat welded all around. You're not gonna have any issues with that That's a commercial boot right there. That's how you do them on a commercial roof. Same exact way All these are all fabricated here So that can't leak. There's just no way it could leak. I mean, you'd have to even the only even if it did get water up inside It would have to go up inside that bell cap and then when it goes down it would be inside the plumbing and it would end up in the holding tank so if your holding tank is really full then you know you get a lot of roof water on here like snow or something right and then the same thing with these curbs all heat welded and we got these little flashing details right up front there see that little flashing detail right there that let's see if my finger can get that right there okay what that's for is as you're traveling and you get caught in a storm and that water is just wanting to push and the wind is blowing it's going to come up and hit there and it's got to run out so, no place for it to go i could probably show you better when i go around the other side there i'll just give you an idea same thing with this one two separate uh, ac units it looks like to me that one's a lot smaller than that one down there so, the same flashing detail we put some gutter ends on here again looking at nice clean caulking on here we went along top of this awning. We do that anyways. And then uh, this way, I, I would hate for a customer to call me and say, oh, I got a leak. And I've had it happen where they go, we got a leak. They bring it back and it has nothing to do with us. It's something that should have been done. Like they need to go around and you need to caulk all these. You need to caulk everything here, 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 around the windows. Now on this coach, we're going to do it on there, but it's not in the work order on other coaches we've done. So, but we just try to 
do it so this way, if you see a leak, well, it can't be coming from us. We take too many steps to try to make sure you do not have any leaks at all. So I'll go around the other side. Another bell cap here for the plumbing. And then this is the flange I was talking about right here. This one. So when the water comes in, and it's gushing across here, it's going to have to hit up in here. It's got to get forced out. I mean, it's not going to be able to... I mean, you may, if you had that much water, I mean, it may splash. But that's going to be a rarity for something to get that heavy, especially as narrow as this is. Now, on a commercial end, these are a lot bigger. All these curbs are a lot bigger because the roof system is bigger, so it's carrying more water on the roof system. But you only got eight foot wide here. This stuff's going to spill off. You're not going to have that much on there. So here's the... Uh, Here's the uh, antenna, all sealed. Everything's all primed too. You have to use a primer when you put these on here. You may notice just a little jaundice right here, right on the edge. That's the primer, because we prime everything. And I actually, even though this is all heat welded and this system is gonna leak, I go a step further and I actually put some sealant up inside here and I strike it. And if you look, you can see that, that big edge that I use a trowel for. And what that is, that's your first deterrent of water. So when water comes up, it's going to start hitting that and already start heading out. So. But that's the, uh, that's what we got on this Alpine. So we are pretty much done with her except for doing some caulking on here. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Now just to give you an update, this here is a 60 mil commercial grade GAF brand is what it is, a 60 mil Evergard. This one on here is, this is a gray roof. But this is the same product you're going to find on a hotel, on an office building. Now compared to the to the rubber, the rubber is a lot thinner. It's a lot thinner than this. So the um, we go to our website rvroofinstall.com. Give us a buzz if you got questions.